Hello once again, Velo Airport CEOs. We are continuing our airport expansion here. We are adding our medium terminals and medium sized aircraft. We have a lot to build, a lot to finish up. We're going to show you what we're doing. Our airport is slowly being built. We still have not connected the two terminals, but we have built our check-in area, our security check-in area, our baggage claim, our baggage bay, and the connection between all of that, which is a lot. I think that's going to work, though, for us. Let's try to connect some terminals here. Let's see. We're going to need a connection between these two terminals here. It's nice that you can see underneath. And I can see just where my terminals are when I connect them. And escalators. Where do we want them here? I mean, I always kind of pick where I want them to land. And that makes it easier to determine where they're going to go. So if I put it here, this would come in from the right because it's narrower on the right side and wider on the left. It's very subtle. That's how you tell. Okay, I can get this probably pretty close to the wall. I probably don't need to be have a lot of extra space here. And we can dump them out more in the middle of the terminal. That looks pretty good there. And we gotta go quite a ways over here. And this side. I think this side they can kinda end up over here at this edge. And now let's give him some walkway. Cause that's a long way to go, guys. I find if you don't give them enough of an entrance path, an exit path, they won't use these things. They don't need a lot of space in between them. You know, you can put them right on top of each other or as close as they'll let you with one space for each one. You need two spaces in between them because you need one space for each conveyor belt. I find you do need to have a little bit more room up front for the stairs. That will help them get there pretty quickly. All right, we've connected our two terminal points here for our new terminal. We need to get between A and B sides of the... But we have not connected them over here to this terminal. We already have some tunneling going on here, so this won't be too bad. We can just continue this right to it. We 
it's a long walk. But if you need to, you can get between It's a really long walk, but if you need to, you can get between terminals this way. Wow, I got three large ones there. Okay, and then we're gonna fit a medium in there on top of it. Dang, that is a huge walking path. That will get us over to, we need to get up into any of the terminal space. Oh, but that's taking you, oh, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. Because this is secure connection. Ah, oh, bummer. All right, all right, well. Well, that's easy enough. We can just put a wall here. And since we're going to have... <clears throat> this might be a good spot for an extra check-in station for staff. And we actually need to make this whole hallway secure because this is all meant to be in a secure boarding zone. My goodness, that is a huge terminal. We'll put a small security checkpoint up there. And we'll put a small little exit there as well. Perfect. We're going to make those staff only once those are built. And then that, may, that way our staff can get in and out of our airport here if they need to uh, from parking. But we still need to connect the unsecure zone. So that's way up here. Right? That's up here, up here. So since we have some more space up here, we might as well take advantage of it. Probably don't need to go 
that far. We'll just go eight squares. Make it seven, seven by seven extra. Okay, and now let's go below ground and say this section here. Oops. And let's add some walkways, because my goodness, is that a long walk. And looks like I could probably get like a medium. Whoop. Keep building, guys. Looks like we can get a medium. Oh, maybe a large. Oh, wow. Perfect. Start from this end, and I remember it was a medium. connect between the terminals that is exciting can we put a small one here 
definitely. Okay, well, the terminals are now connected to each other. Exciting. You'll get to it eventually. Okay, part four. This catering department. It's just not going to work there. Never will. We're going to have to build a new entrance anyways. We'll build a new catering department. Let's look at our airport surfaces and the things we're going to be adding here. We're going to need to make sure we have a fuel depot over here. We have a cleaning services uh, not far. We've already established this over here. Um, we'll probably need, might want to move this a little closer. We're going to want to build uh, some catering services. Okay, the catering depot is a little tricky here. We're gonna start with that one. And I'll figure out where it goes because we have to have catering. Because the catering depot needs two types of roads. We have to have one, the service road here on the bottom. And up here on the top, you have, uh, that's your public road sign. And I actually had this set up over here. Uh, and I decided this is not gonna work here because it's just too far away. Um, but you can see this is what I did. You had the public side here and then the gate. And this is so it can receive deliveries from the public side from your delivery trucks without having to go through security. And then the service side is, that's the side that's going to go out to the airplanes. Well, this is too far away from my airplanes because this is, as I learned, only for medium-sized aircraft. Catering department only works for medium size. And since I'm building a medium-sized terminal and airport station over here, well, that's a good side for our new catering department. But this is such a big, big freaking road here, public road. Um, yeah. Where are we going to have our public road come in at? I mean, it would kind of make sense to uh, have it come in over here and loop around here, right? Maybe we'll... Uh, Yeah, why not? It's about central for both sides of the uh, the terminal there, so let's roll with that. And uh, we might want to just put our waste depot right next to it, won't we? Because they know when you're generating one, you're generating waste. And this is the service side, so this this might be better suited, just a little closer here. Because it just needs two service roads. Connect our service roads here. That's already connected, that's already connected all through there.
Well, I guess it's about time we address that public road issue and figure out our new entrance way. So here, let's go to infrastructure. And we can go to world entrance tunnel. Don't build many of these, do ya? There it is. <laughs> like, where is the line? Okay, that might just be, a, I'm thinking about there, but I'm gonna have the traffic come in here and, and drop off people, and that might just be too close. So let's go up here. We'll just line it up nicely. Pretty much fits only in one spot, right? Because you have to be right on the edge. There we go. Public road. And these will just connect here. And I don't want everybody to come there, so we're going to turn off to the side here for our public road access. Let's make our taxi stands here. Bus stop, bus shelters, car stop, taxi stop. Okay, first let's do our car stop right by the gate. Let's give those people priority. You can see there's a road spot there and it gives us a sidewalk area right behind it. So we can probably go right up next to it. That one way road in here. So let's just. Oops. have to go crazy with the one ways you can go you only have to do a couple on the entrance way to make sure that they don't turn and then uh, they figure it out the rest of the way so that'll be a good spot there for them and we can make sure we have a nice plenty of sidewalk around make another road here for some taxis. Taxi stops. Okay, and that will allow them... Oop, that's not gonna work right there, is it?
So there's some taxi stands. Uh, let's maybe put a stop or two over here. this one way oh you know what make this actually easier if I did this the other way wouldn't it let's just scrap that idea and back the infrastructure oh mayday mayday Bus stop. Let's go on this side. There we go. And then we can make the public road that way. And we only need to make it one one way arrow there. Figure out the rest. All right. Most excellent. And we could build some bus shelters here. Since we're gonna have a good number of bus stations. So I have a good number of bus shelters. It is very expensive. I started with about $10 million. I'm down to about $3 million. Boy, it is really expensive to build a medium size airport. This is why you can't start with it. But we're going to have a lot of fun with it because we're going to have a lot of new services and functionality as an airport. We're getting there. We created a new entrance to the world. We created a new structure for traffic flow. What else do we need? Parking. Lots and lots and lots of parking. Do not build a subway entrance. Build parking lots. You make so much more money off your parking lots than you think. Build lots of them. All right. We're going to maximize this space right here and remove this road. Right here. Right here. find our parking garage parking my goodness we make a lot of money off the parking perfect Now, 
just to make it easy here from a traffic flow standpoint most excellent boy that lined up swimmingly public roads Now I could make those one way, but I don't really need to because it's probably best to let them figure it out from a parking standpoint, right? They can turn and turn in where they need to. All right, that's giving us a good start here. Let's see, traffic flow. They come in here, they drive down this way. I think they could here at this point. And then they can come in here into taxi stands. drop-off spots, then they can flow on out, and we got lots of parking there, exciting, exciting. Now we will probably end up going crazy with our parking structure on additional floors and such, but we do not need to do that right now. Still building the airport, let's worry about that. We got a good start for our parking there. How about some of the other things we're gonna need for our airplanes is a fuel depot. And most likely we're gonna need jet fuel over here. That's a service road connection. But you still have to have a gate from your public to your service in order to fill these up. So, and you can see here that then a fuel truck comes and fills up and he goes back down the floor over here. Well, he's got to go a long way, doesn't he? to go fill up this guy way out here at the very end. Man, that was fun to follow. Perfect timing there. Perfect timing there. That shows us just how far this guy is currently traveling to fill up his plane. So I think a, another fuel depot over here would be a good idea. You have to travel a lot less, a lot less distance. So, airport infrastructure, fuel depot, jet fuel, and, um, I'm going to put these over here because uh, I want to have a connection fairly close. We'll put it right here. Jet fuel. And just in case, we'll put another one up here. In case they find it's closer. And then we have to add our service road to connect. And that's a perfect spot for a vehicle checkpoint. It's a little off on the angle there, but hey. We'll put it here to make it easier. Only service vehicles for the airport are going to come in here anyways. So it's not a big deal. We're just going to make it look pretty this way. All right. Service road on the inside here. 
public road on the right side on the outside and that will connect these Oop, I accidentally built public road here you can tell because the public road has the bigger square perfect squares and the service road has the rounded edges of its blocks See, I accidentally built public road. Infrastructure, service road, that's what I need there. Okay. Checkpoint. Now our vehicles can get in from our new public access into our new part of the airport. And we've connected it all together. They can move around freely. And I didn't even have to do it underground. Like I did over here, we had to do some under trickery underground transport. But it works great. As you can see, service vehicles are moving around the airport freely underground. What is that guy? He's going really slow. Oh, because you're full. Really slow vehicle. RKY202. There he is. You're out. couple of these other ones anyway, so. Let's buy four of these for over there. built the vehicle depot, we built the vehicle parking lot, we built, I think we could put, I think we could put another vehicle service parking lot over here now that we removed that. We had that because the uh, catering department was, we had it sticking out like that. We don't need it to do that. Let's keep it clean. There we go. Coming along, coming along, guys, coming along. All right, we still can't build our routes yet. getting there. Uh, our runway is not built yet. Our ramps are not built yet. We cannot get there yet. Okay, what else do we need to do to get this a functioning airport besides maybe just letting it finish? Uh, we're going to need to start building all the desks so we can start working on that. Boarding desks, self-boarding desks,
Uh, baggage, baggage, there it is. Uh, too many cactus stands. Well, that's just because they're not built. Alright, what else can we build while we're here waiting for this airport? Well, probably going to need a couple bathrooms, so we might as well build few of those while we wait.
All right, a couple quick bathrooms there. We just got to make sure you always turn it on and you set your genders if you like one. Uh, male, female here I do just because of urinals and non-urinals. Traditional airport design there, right? Maybe they'll update and allow it to have a little more gender neutral. And you can if you want. You can just leave them open. And I do actually, if you want, say anybody. Who cares? Terminals are coming along. They are building walls. They are building the stations. Okay, we have our connection, looks like between of them are coming along. Oh, can we set this for secure? Employees only yet? No. No passengers, just staff. Causing some security shortage issues, all right. So security officers. Who's good? We got a couple of people who are good. We'll hire them. Make sure they're fully trained. All right, we might need an entrance or two here into the terminal itself. So let's put in some a couple of large doors here. I'm gonna need one here at this main entrance point. Find up with that one. Right, and we might as well put one down here on this end. And we'll make it pretty here out of window. Everything's just so plain on the floor, so. What do we want here? How about we give ourselves some nice dark wood entranceways? The whole. Terminal. We'll make it nice wood. We might change that somewhere along the way. We'll build some restaurants and stuff.
boarding gates. So I'll just do self boarding gates for staff. Thank goodness, they built the runway. Finally, oh my gosh, I was getting nervous. Okay, so, we're gonna make this a arrival only. Medium, this needs to be changed to, okay, we're gonna land, and then this is a one way off. Arrival only. And we're going to make this a departure only over here. Very exciting. Alright. Let's get some routing going here. So now we need to go into our aircraft infrastructure and taxi path. After you've built your runways, you have to connect everything and down the taxiways and let them know, the airplanes that is, where they're supposed to drive. And that's what the taxiway path here is for. And I'm going to go from the other low, I'm going to go to either one of those sides, and we're just going to go right up the middle, just there, and then we can go off either side. What do we got here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Wow, twenty medium aircraft stands. I'm going from zero to twenty. That is going to be a big, big jump. Okay, okay. Oh, good. Looks like we can finish our service connection here. The service road. Service road, there it is. around if they want. All right. Coming along, coming along. Continuing with the routing. They need to go up here to access to the runway. Uh, we're not even going to connect this because no one will ever do this. No one will ever land on this runway. We've set it to departures only and they depart that way. All right, and then this connects here 
and it's already been extended down our taxiway path that way we just need to connect it right here to our runway make sure we increase our bird zone here okay look and see it automatically connected and figured out that this runway is now connected and ready to go over here it says it's not so just so we don't have to look at the error message we will connect it and you will see that it goes away now over here they land they come off and then they're into the terminal then they loop out onto a taxiway path and off they go all right it's coming along coming along we are not ready to connect anything yet as far as our stations go it doesn't look like we can connect our baggage claim yet that's not built yet so looks like it's just fast forward time all right while that's going and we're building let's continue on and add a few more services here to our new terminals how about a nice big food court we can make a huge food court and it's huge and then you can click on your signed contract and it tells you what you're going to need make this room fit so we want to go with a five star place here we're gonna need five cooking stations five sofas eight hedges looks like at least one cafe counter with double the square foot space Place a cashier's counter or multiple ones. cafe seating
Yeah, we're just kind of mixing it up here. All right, now that we got a bunch of seating there, let's uh, probably put a, a few laptop tables over here. Why not? Food. Let's make some cooking areas here. And here's a fridge. serve two cooking stations let's put two cooking stations here decorations and go into your hedges and kind of make it look nice hide it a little bit from the public view So build beer tap. Put a copy machine next to it. This 
display fridges. They love their display fridges, so make sure you have a plenty of those. Put some over here. enough sign them yet nope what are we missing cooking stations four out of five ah oh. all right so we need another cooking station so here go we can finally sign our contract a nice huge restaurant there big food court this looks like a good place to finish up this episode we have a little bit more to do so we'll break it off into a part three we'll see you next time